Chris, thank you. Now at five, an IPS executive director has been placed on administrative leave. Parents claim the CEO of the Edison School of the Arts used a racial slur towards a student. CBS 4's Lindsay Stone shares what the school is saying about this ongoing investigation. We received several messages from IPS parents about an alleged incident that happened last Thursday. Now they claim that Edison School of the Arts CEO Nathan Tuttle used a racial slur towards a student. We went to Edison School of the Arts to get answers. I was greeted by a staff member at the door who said the school had no comment. However, the school agreed to send us a statement that was sent out to parents. But what they sent us is not what they sent to parents. And the statement sent to parents, it says the allegations were regarding quote, the racially insensitive language used by the executive director, Nathan Tuttle. And the message sent to us, it claims the allegations were regarding, quote, inappropriate language used by the school's executive director, end quote. Both statements say the board takes these matters seriously and have placed the executive director on administrative leave pending investigation. We reached out to IPS for a response, but was directed to a PR agency who says they are working with the school and coordinating with IPS on the issue. Nathan Tuttle is no longer listed on the school's website. When asked if Tuttle has been terminated, the PR firm stated he was on administrative leave. There's a special board meeting happening tomorrow night at 530 at Edison. We've looked through the agenda for that meeting and right now we don't see anything specific to this ongoing investigation. Of course, we'll update you as we continue to follow this story. Stick with us online at CBS4Indy.com. Here in the newsroom, Lindsay Stone, CBS4 News. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Parents can request the chance to speak at tomorrow night's board meeting on the school's website. You can find a link to that online at CBS4Indy.com. Just look for this story on the front of our homepage. We have new